Thomas Tuchel explains he was forced to replace Saul Niguez after seeing big mistakes from new Chelsea signing. Thomas Tuchel said he had little choice but to replace Saul Niguez at half-time after spotting some big mistakes during his Chelsea debut against Aston Villa. Saul joined the Blues on a season-long loan with the option to buy in the final hours of the summer transfer window. The 26-year-old came straight into the starting 11 on Saturday evening against Villa but was replaced by Jorginho for the second half. Explaining his decision, Tuchel told Sky Sports, Well, it was hard to do it but I had the feeling he struggled, he had some big mistakes, passing mistakes and errors and he struggled with the speed of the match and you could see that he has not fully adapted. So it is completely my responsibility, I thought that he can maybe just jump in and play for us on that level. So I thought it is maybe just better to have Jorginho who has a close connection with Thiago Silva to control the game there a bit more. Tuchel added in his press conference, it was a hard decision. I take responsibility for that. I put him into a difficult match after the international break and it was hard for him to adapt in genera for him to the intensity. After the match, Saul Niguez says he is really happy to have made his Chelsea debut despite being replaced at half-time against Aston Villa. Wasn't the expected debut, Saul wrote on Instagram. Really happy with my first game and victory with the team. Incredible to see Stamford Bridge full of blues. Saul Niguez maybe need time to adapt with the speed of the match in Premier League and hope he will play better in the future for Chelsea. Romelu Lukaku described scoring twice on his return to Stamford Bridge as a childhood dream, as he inspired Chelsea to victory against Aston Villa. The Blues were comfortable 3-0 winners against Villa in West London thanks to a brace from Lukaku and one from Matteo Kovacic. The Belgium international proved his worth to his new club on his second debut at Stamford Bridge, with two fantastically taken goals over the 90 minutes. Lukaku, when speaking to Sky Sports after the game, explained how delighted he was to score his first ever goal at the home of Chelsea. He said, I waited for his first goal at Stamford Bridge you know, it's my dream since I was 11. I worked hard for this moment but you know I'm very happy with the win. It was a very important win for us, it was about focus and motivation and we showed the will to win from the first minute, I'm happy to win. Playing in Italy, I was playing in a league where I would get one chance a game or two chances a game and I had to take them. I think with experience, hard work and teammates understanding me, I'm very happy with the situation I'm in. Lukaku was then asked about what it felt like to return to Stamford Bridge after years away from the club and described it was a childhood dream, before analysing the game in a bit more detail. Yeah it was good, childhood dream for me, very happy to be in this situation I'm in but the hard work continues, he added. They were really good, pressing us from the front, they made life difficult but we stayed focused. Edu Mendy did really well and the three central defenders and wing backs did really well and then up front we were just clinical with the chance we had. What Edouard Mendy did against Aston Villa to prove he will be as important as Romelu Lukaku. Edouard Mendy was signed for just £22 million. For many he was seen as a stopgap following Kepa Arizabalaga's troubles. The Senegalese international pulled off a series of impressive saves, in a game where Aston Villa comfortably had more shots than the Blues. When Tyrone Ming struck the ball in the opening half, it seemed destined to make the net rustle and when Mendy defied the flight of the ball, Esri Conce's mishit looked awkward enough to loop over the line. The 29-year-old had other ideas as he lay on the ground, and stumbling backwards, struggling back to his fee, Mendy found a way to reach the ball and force it out for a corner. It was a double save which showed quality and commitment, the confidence not to be beaten. The Chelsea glovesman made four more saves over the course of 90 minutes, all from shots within the box, and matched his highest tally of stops in a Chelsea shirt. The former Wren goalkeeper matched a record he had set in the Blues' last outing against Liverpool, 12 saves in two matches, and the only goal he has conceded is a penalty. Indeed, Mendy is the only Premier League goalkeeper with two or more appearances yet to concede from open play this season. Not just through the strength in some of Chelsea's defensive work, but because he has made the joint most saves in the division, 16. There will be games where Thomas Tuchel's side can blow the opposition away with high-quality players. The last two games haven't been like that and Mendy had done his job.